All right, everybody, I'm Logan Alec. I'm a CPA, and today I'm reviewing the Rakuten Cash Back site. This is the site formerly known as Ebates. Uh, basically, the history here is Ebates was founded in the late 90s. The Japanese e commerce giant Rakuten bought Ebates in 2014 for a billion dollars. The Ebates brand has since then gradually been phased out and replaced by the Rakuten name. I think the Ebates name was completely phased out in 2019. So that's the story there. Basically, how Rakuten works is it's very similar to Be Frugal. So if you've seen my Be Frugal review, you kind of know how this works. Um, right here in this video, I'm going to walk you through the Rakuten app, or actually the website, show you how it all works. Uh, basically, Rakuten gives you cash back at over 2,500 stores. I personally use it, and in this video, I'm going to walk through it for you, let you know the pros and cons. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the kind of person I think Rakuten is a good fit for, as well as the kind of person who Rakuten may not be the best fit for. So without further ado, let's start the walkthrough portion here. I'll kind of explain Rakuten as I go along. Uh, but first, I do want to mention that down in the description below, I do have my Rakuten referral link, basically how it works is you sign up for Rakuten through my link and if you make a qualifying purchase through Rakuten uh, you get cash back. Typically I have to do it within 90 days of signing up I think. Um, uh, so you'll get cash back and I will get cash back as well, bonus cash back. So if after you watch this video to the end you think that Rakuten is right for you, I'd really appreciate it if you use my link down there to sign up. All right, let's get into it. So here's a lovely Rakuten homepage. At the top here you see deals and whatnot. Below that is this section about 2% cash back where periodically a certain store where you would earn say 2% cash back through Rakuten like Old Navy, uh, today you'd earn 4% back. Um, there's some other featured brands further down here on the homepage. One thing I do want to note is that you really have to read the fine print when using Rakuten or really any cashback portal. And that's because you might see here that, for example, Walmart offers 6% cash back right now, but ah, you got to read the fine print. So if I click on Walmart and I scroll down on the Walmart page here and I see cashback and categories, you can see here that I will not get 6% back on every purchase I make at Walmart. It's 1% on eight categories here, a flat $5 on Pet RX, which I imagine is some kind of like prescription for animals program. The only purchases you can get 6% back on is at the Walmart Photo Center. There are other categories of items you can buy at Walmart, of course, like say groceries, which apparently you get no cash back on. So I always make sure you at least look at the cash back categories and make sure you're actually going to get cash back on your purchase. That being said, some stores give you cash back on all purchases at their site. It's just that Walmart looks a lot more limited. Anyway, going back to the homepage, let's actually buy something, shall we? Any guesses on what I'm going to buy? Okay, so uh, since you don't have a Rakuten account already, you would obviously click join now in the upper right to get started, give your email address. Uh, your basic information, sign up, pretty straightforward. I assume you created accounts online before uh, on websites, so I'm not going to cover that. For me, because I already have a Rakuten account, I just go ahead and click sign in and I sign in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for overstock.com because I want to buy a little Halloween decor from there because as of the time I'm recording, it's almost spooky time. Uh, so I find overstock. Looks like they're given 4% back right now. There's the fine print right there under cashback terms. It says exclusions. Cashback is not available on donations, gift card purchase or redemption, real estate cars, auctions, gold redemption. It's true, folks. If you want to buy real estate on overstock.com, which I did not even know is humanly possible, you won't get Rakuten cash back, but everything else looks good unless you use a coupon or promo code, which could void the Rakuten cash back. That's not just an overstock thing or a Rakuten thing. That's the case with pretty much all stores at any cash back portal. This isn't necessarily saying that every coupon will void your cash back. Um, but to really explain this, let me explain how Rakuten makes money in this transaction. Rakuten is basically an affiliate, right? It makes an affiliate commission off, um, off of you, off of your purchase when you make a purchase through them. So I'm going to make a purchase here from overstock through Rakuten, and Rakuten is going to get a commission from overstock for that. Right, And of that commission Rakuten gets, it's giving me a portion of it. But if I were to, say, use another affiliate's coupon code or promo code for Overstock, then that other affiliate could possibly get credit for my purchase, in which case Rakuten wouldn't get anything, and they would have nothing to give me back, right, cash back wise. So that's why use of coupons or other promo codes not listed on Rakuten may in fact void your cash back. One more thing before we go to Overstock is Rakuten is prompting me here to add its Chrome extension. What this is, is basically instead of having to go to Rakuten.com and find the store you want to shop at through Rakuten uh, to get your cash back, the Rakuten Chrome extension will automatically apply your cash back when you visit stores online. So it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I decided to go ahead and install it. Now I'm on my way to Overstock. Oh, and look, there it is. So those uh, little pop-ups there, 4% cash back active Activated and all set your cash back is activated. Happy shopping. Um, if you place an order, cash back will be added to your Rakuten account today. Um, those messages, I think, are due to the Chrome extension. Anyway, here on Overstock, uh, do they have a Halloween section? Yes, they do. Halloween decor to haunt your halls with a capital T in two. I click on that, start looking for a little piece of decor. I see 
some scary stuff, mummies, ghosts, skulls, whatever. Not really my style. There's a really cute ghost, but I think that looks pretty breakable. So uh, not that one. I see this thing called lighted fall harvest glass dome decoration uh, that apparently is a high satisfaction item. So I'm definitely getting that one. So I basically just complete the purchase that I normally would. I'll check my cash back balance in a little bit to see if Rakuten registered the purchase yet. But for now, I thought I'd walk you through some other aspects here of Rakuten. So back on the homepage, you can click categories and see the various categories of stores you can shop at to get cash back. Obviously, the search bar is where you can search for stores. If you click on double cash back stores, those are all the stores temporarily giving double cash back when you shop through Rakuten. Um, hot deals or other deals, in-store cash back is interesting. Personally, I've only used Rakuten for online shopping, but it looks like you can also get in-store cash back using Rakuten by linking your credit and debit card information to Rakuten. So how it works is you would select your offer at the participating store you want to shop at. In this case, it's 2% cash back at Sephora. Um, you'd have to click that link on offer button before you go to the store. And then if you've linked your credit or debit card to Rakuten, right? If you spend using that card at Sephora after pressing the link offer button, you'll earn the 2% cash back in store. Note that if you do this and you get cash back and then you forget to buy something at Sephora, so you gotta go back, you would apparently have to click link offer again. You have to press it every time before you shop at that store. Um, travel and vacations is just travel site offers on Rakuten right now. This brings me to the Rakuten referral program. Right now the deal is, and this is subject to change, but right now the deal is if you use someone's referral code or link such as mine in the description below and that person joins Rakuten through your link and they spend at least $30 at Rakuten, they'll get a $30 bonus and you will get a $30 bonus as well. So it's basically like free money for the person being referred, right? If you spend $30, you get $30, right? So buy a $30 item and you're basically getting it for free, right? If you use my link. So that's the referral program right now. When you sign up for Rakuten yourself, you'll obviously have your own referral link to use and share with your friends. One thing I do want to mention is that Rakuten pays out its cash back quarterly. So if I go to help here and click your big fat check, which is what Rakuten calls your cash back payment, and I click get getting your Rakuten cashback payments. Check this out. Here's a Rakuten payment schedule. So cashback attributable to purchases uh, posted in a certain quarter will be paid out about a month and a half after that quarter end. So for example, let's say you're doing your holiday shopping and you use Rakuten, you rack up these purchases in Q4, all that cashback you earned in the fourth quarter, right? October, November, December, will be paid out on February 15th, okay? So that's how the payment schedule works. In terms of how you're paid, you can be paid in PayPal, uh, through a paper check, or through American Express membership rewards. I actually didn't know about this last option until I was putting together this review. But basically how this works is if you have an American Express card that is part of the uh, membership reward program, like the gold card, or maybe the platinum card, both of which I reviewed recently here on the channel, that instead of earning cash back, you can choose to earn your Rakuten rewards as American Express membership rewards. It says 1% cash back is equal to one additional point for every dollar spent through Rakuten. So basically, let's say you spend 100 bucks somewhere where you could get 5% back, right? So that'd be $5 cash back. Or you could get 500 American Express membership rewards points. Is this a good deal? It is if you can extract more than a penny per point when redeeming your American Express membership rewards points. Thing is, the most you can get per point when redeeming on the Amex platform itself is a penny per point. I go way more in depth on maximizing membership rewards points in my Amex card video reviews here on the channel. I don't want to rehash all that, but basically you can get more value than a penny per point if you transfer your membership rewards points to the right travel partners. That's obviously an advanced redemption strategy if you don't know what I'm talking about. Probably best to just cash out to PayPal or paper check. I prefer PayPal because it's, you know, pretty much instant. You don't have to wait for the check to come in the mail. The check can get lost and all that. Um, now let's go ahead and check to see if Rakuten has processed my overstock purchase. So if you hover over my name in the top right and click on cash back balance, there we go. There's my overstock purchase for $23.55, which got me 94 cents cash back. And that checks out. 94 cents is in fact 4% of $23.55. Then it looks like I have some other bonus there for $10. It says $10 valued customer bonus order within 365 days of creation. Not sure what this is, but it's cool that Rakuten gave me another kind of bonus here. Just FYI, this isn't typical, but hey, it's cool nonetheless. Free 10 bucks, right? In terms of payouts, Rakuten has always paid me out. Never had a problem there. On this screen, you can see it says your last big fat check for $100 was sent on June 17, 2021 via PayPal. Um, and they did do just that. Here's the record in my PayPal account. All right, so that's the walkthrough. Now, uh, I just want to talk about the pros and cons of Rakuten. Point number one is the variety of stores you can get cash back on through Rakuten. Over 2,500 uh, participating stores. So basically, almost any major online retailer you can think of, you can probably get uh, cash back for through Rakuten. Major exception, of course, and this is the case for really all cashback sites like this, is Amazon. Rakuten doesn't partner with Amazon, and frankly, neither do most, uh, if not all, cashback portals, except maybe for some very specific categories. Pro number two is a redemption minimum of $5. This is pretty low, right? So excluding the one-time sign-up bonus you get, let's say uh, you get an average of 4% cash back on your purchases. $5 divided by 4% is $125. 
I would say that, you know, a lot of people probably spend at least $125 in online purchases at major retailers, you know, if not quarterly, maybe at least annually, right? So pretty easy to hit that minimum cash out. Pro number three is user interface. Probably of all the cashback portals I've personally used, Rakuten's user interface is probably the most user friendly, clean, and just plain out modern looking. Pro number four is the very attractive referral program. Basically for people you refer, they're basically getting free stuff, right? Oftentimes the referral program benefit for referrals is if they spend at least X, right? Let's say $10 or $30, they'll get that amount X in bonus cash back and you'll get the same bonus in your account as well. So that's a pretty attractive referral program uh, from the referrals perspective. And the more attractive a referral program is uh, to people you refer, the more likely they are to actually become your referral and the more money you'll make from referring people. All right, now let's talk about cons. Con number one is the quarterly payment schedule. This is a bit unusual. With many cashback sites, once you hit a minimum threshold, like say five or ten dollars in cashback, you can cash out. Right? This is the case for Be Frugal that I recently you hear on the channel. But the Rakuten, as I went over previously in the video, you're paid out on a uh, on a rigid quarterly payment schedule. Common number two is that there are not any redemption bonuses. For example, it'd be frugal. If you choose to redeem your balance for certain uh, kinds of gift cards, you'll get bonus cash back as opposed to just redeeming for cash. Now, Rakuten kind of has a feature like this, but it's not as direct in that it allows you to redeem your balance for American Express membership rewards points, which depending on how you redeem them, could be worth more than the value of just receiving cash back via PayPal or a check in the mail. Finally, con number three, and this is truly a con for all cashback portals, is that for any given store at any given time, Rakuten may not offer the highest cash back you could receive at that store among all cashback sites. It might, right? But maybe Frugal or one of these other ones could have a higher cashback rate for that particular store at that time. All right, now that we've gone through the pros and cons, let's talk about, uh, you know, the kinds of people that Rakuten is good for and maybe not so good for. So Rakuten is good for someone who is okay with giving up a little bit of their time to use Rakuten to save a few bucks when they shop online. Because if you think about it, look, how much did I get in cash back on my overstock purchase through Rakuten? 94 cents, right? How much extra time did this take me? Now, it was a little different, right, in this video because I was walking you through it. I went slower than I usually would. But if I wasn't, this would only take me less than a minute, right? To use Rakuten and save that 94 cents. So let's say it took me a minute to save 94 cents. We'll multiply 94 cents by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. That yields a, you know, $56.40 an hour rate, right? If you extrapolate that, that rate to an hourly wage, which is pretty dang good, especially considering that if you're getting cash back on personal purchases, there's no tax effect there. It's a tax-free discount, uh, similar to credit card cash back. You can see my video link at the top of the screen where I talk about the effect that credit card rewards have on your taxes. So if you think that's worth it to you, go for it, right? If you have that personality that wants to make sure you're using, you know, for example, the exact right credit card for the exact right purchase to maximize your rewards on spending, then sites like Rakuten kind of do the same thing and they're probably for you. So who is Rakuten maybe not the best fit for? Well, naturally Rakuten is not the best fit for somebody who doesn't care about saving a few bucks here and there because let's face it, with these cashback portals, they're not giving these doorbuster 20% off, 25% off deals. It's like 2% here, 4% there, right? Maybe 6% there. Um, sometimes around the holidays, Black Friday and all that, you might see some Whopper cash back percentages, but for the most part, it's relatively small digits. So if that doesn't excite you, maybe a site like this isn't for you, even though you could theoretically use it and save some money. But if you do think that Rakuten is for you, I'd be thrilled if you use my referral link. It is down there in the description below. You will get a bonus when you use it. If you make a qualifying purchase, I'll get a bonus as well. Be sure to check that out. Also, be sure to check out this video right over here where I review the Get Upside app, which is my personal favorite app to get cash back at the gas station. If you've already seen that one, check out this video right down here. This is my review of Be Frugal, which is basically a competitor to Rakuten. I'll see you in those videos, folks. Bye-bye.